Hello babes and welcome to a new video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a really, really cool red eyeliner look. Originally, I actually did this yesterday for a Valentine's Day shoot, photo shoot, and so many of you on Instagram wanted to see a tutorial. So therefore, I'm here to show you guys what I did. All right, let's get started. For primer, I'm gonna go in with the Future Dew from Glossier. I absolutely love this shit. It's like on bare skin, on your makeup, uh, as highlighter. She's so beautiful. Then I'm gonna go in with one of my absolute favorite foundations. This is the Milk Flex Foundation in the shade Cream. It's like a medium coverage, but it makes your skin look so beautiful and just flawless. I have washed all of my favorite brushes, so I'm gonna go in with a new one. This is the Flare Foundation and Concealer Brush. We'll see if that works. I usually like a little stiffer foundation brush. And as I now have bangs, I don't really go anywhere further than my brow. I never put makeup underneath my bangs, <laughs> obviously. Or, I don't know, do people do that? So that is how one side looks. And of course, Tarte Shape Tape in Fair. And as you guys can see, I am running out of this. You know, I have a unopened one uh, in my makeup collection. But I still want to get everything out because I feel like it's such a waste to just throw it away when there's still a bit in here. I mean, look at that. I, that's a lot. Even though pretty much all of these uh, products you guys have seen a million times here on my channel, I am going to go ahead and use quite a, a few completely new products that I have been really loving. Nabla's close up powder. I'm gonna take with the sponge again and I'm just going to press this right underneath as close as the lash line, really. And that is the only thing that I set. Then, for my new super quick contouring, I just go in with the uh, uh, stick foundation in Fawn from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I just put it over and underneath my cheekbones. And then I put a little bit here on my jawline. And then I go ahead and contour my nose just a little bit like that. And then again, I'm gonna go in with the same uh, foundation brush and just blend it out. I absolutely love this stick. It is so good and just blends in to whatever you have on. If you have nothing on, if you have a really full coverage foundation or a Lighter coverage foundation, it's really good. And also, as you guys can hopefully see, it just also gives a really nice dewy finish. Then I'm gonna go in with the concealer brush. You can use whatever brush really, it's just, if it's just fluffy. And I just blend out the contour on the nose. And I'm gonna try and keep it where I put it and not go too far down or too far in. All right, like that. And underneath my lip. The best product of 2020, Rare Beauty's Blush in Bliss. This is something that I am running out of and it makes me <laughs> very stressed because I cannot buy this in Sweden. It's just the best thing ever and I use so much of it every time I do my makeup. Uh, I was gonna put a little bit there. It's just such a nice like peachy color. So if you guys live in a country where <laughs> rare beauty is available, I would need you guys to try it out because it's the best thing ever. And as I cannot buy it, I at least want you guys to have <laughs> the joy of using this. And then finally, Anastasia Beverly Hills have released some really cool new products. And I'm gonna show you guys all of them here in this video. First off, something that I'm obsessed with is their brow freeze. This is like the um, soap brow kind of product, but it's not something that you need to warm up with like a mist or something. And it's just such a good product. Thinking back at it now that I actually went and used soap brows that were so, for me at least, annoying to use. I really like the soap brow look, but I absolutely hated the soap brow method. I felt that it was just so 
stressing <laughs> to go ahead with mists and you have to make the little clay kind of thingy and then put it on your brows and sometimes it didn't look good this is amazing it's like a gel like for your hair pretty much but for your brows i'm just gonna scoop out a little bit and then i'm gonna start by brushing the hair up and then i'm going to press it in to where I want it to be so not completely up I want it to go a little bit like that and then I'm just gonna take anything that is flat and I'm going to press it down there we go I don't have a lot of brows so it's not a massive difference but it looks a lot better and now i'm just gonna let this dry down a little bit and go in with highlighter i wanted to show you guys this new highlighter from anastasia beverly hills it's called iced out but i have used it a few times and i actually don't love it because i feel like it is too dark for me so this is made so it would suit every kind of skin tone and i see the point of it but also i feel like i am just a tiny bit too light for it but i'm gonna show you guys either way how it looks because it is a really really nice highlighter and if you have like a little bit darker skin than me i think it could be your absolute favorite but as i am not the hugest fan of that product i'm gonna go in with my fave highlighter of all time nabla ozone uh, on top of this because that will just make me feel a lot better <laughs> Just some face mist to blend it all in. For brows, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Linda Halber Sketch and Sculpt Infinity Brow Pen that I've used ever since I went redhead. It's amazing. And this is in the shade Auburn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start here, the bottom of the brows, and do little flicks, so like brow hairs. And the brow freeze, for those of you are wondering, are dried down, so it's no problem to paint over it. I'm just gonna do little flicks upwards, and the tail I extend just a tiny bit as well. There we go, one brow done. So easy, my brows have been looking so much better after I found this and the brow freeze. And now we are finally going to start with the eyes, the main thing about this look. We are going to start off with a new product from Tarte. This is the Tarte Let Juicy. I think that this is completely new. I should. Oh, I should. Oh, oh my god. That almost removed my finger <laughs> okay i think i'm fine <laughs> so i'm gonna go in with fresh start and we are just gonna go ahead and use this in the crease and a little bit underneath as well with the same color i'm gonna go in with the eye primer from anastasia beverly hills and we're gonna do a cut crease and this is of the Ah, uh, I did this look yesterday as i said um and it turned out so good but i think it was the best thing I've ever done <laughs> is I'm really really bad at cut creases so I'm gonna go straight in with this on my lid like that and like that and then I'm gonna go in with a very flat brush like this it's really nice if it's uh, rounded here depending on what kind of eye shape you have and what kind of eye shape you want to do um, I love to have a quite catty so more like elongated but i'm still going to obviously cut the crease much higher than my natural one and then i'm just gonna go in with the shade reflect and dawn and dawn more in the outer corner and the reflect lighter one in the inner corner so not above here so now went in with a wet brush can you guys see the difference when i've used a wet brush and not a wet brush and then I am gonna go in with my eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna go in with bleach. So I'm not really going to represent it that well, but this is the best inner corner highlight. Hello, neighbors. And I'm just gonna blend it in to this highlighted area and underneath my brows. 
And now, finally, for the eyeliner. And so many of you guys have asked me on photos you guys saw on my Instagram, what kind of eyeliner is that? And here it is. It is the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Wear Waterproof Eye and Body Liquid Liner. And here you guys can see that it is a red shade. It is called Red. <laughs> I used this the first time yesterday and I didn't think that it would be so good, but it was so good. It is such a nice red shade. There you guys can see. And even if I don't really love these sorts of applicators that are like this, it was really nice for a... Uh, dramatic eyeliner look like I did. So we are first of all just gonna go ahead and do eyeliner like normal And now I'm just gonna do the wing and I like to do my wing very like C if that makes sense I go ahead and start a little bit Outwards eyeliner is done and now I'm just gonna go ahead <laughs> and take a deep breath <sighs> and Try and flick this out on where the matte and the shimmery meets. And now I'm just gonna make it a little bit thicker. Done. <sighs> I think it looks pretty good, but I am going to take some concealer and I'm gonna clean up the lines on the outside of this. And then to extend my waterline a little bit, I'm gonna go in with the Moolak -like One Liner in brown. Just gonna say hey. Hey, Tipu. Hey, Tipu. Look at him, he's such a big boy. <laughs> How crazy is it that Thibaut has soon been with us for a year? Thibaut was adopted on the um, 1st of March from Ireland. Now I'm gonna go in with my lashes that I wore yesterday. And they are from the Pend Style Nova. I will have them linked down below. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara right now. Called the Swede Pro Lush <laughs> Lift Mascara. <laughs> I mean, hello, this eye look is so mesmerizing. Can I please just do my lips, neighbors? This is the combo that we're gonna go ahead and put on our lips. It is the Nabla liquid lipstick in Baudelaire, and then it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills spicy liquid lipstick. This combo is so pretty. But now we are actually going to make it even better. Yes, we're gonna put on some gloss. And I have the two new glosses from Anastasia Beverly Hills. We have the clear one called Glass, and then this one called Honey Diamond. And I'm gonna go in with the clear. So I'm just gonna take some and put it on my hand, because if I'm just gonna go in with this, this whole thing is going to be red. And then the gloss is going to be red and just, ugh. How pretty is that? If you guys have been wondering what this is, by the way, it didn't want to stay like this, so therefore I put a bobby pin. I'm gonna fix my hair and then we will see the final result. And there we have it. The final look is done, except for my hair being so washed out and not cute. I think this could be one of my absolute favorite makeup looks that I've ever done because I'm so proud of myself for doing a cut crease and doing like this weird eyeliner thing. For some reason, it's kind of simple to do. I know, it sounds like I'm so hypocritical, hypocritical right now. It's so much easier than it actually looks and I'm so happy with it. I'm so excited to try this out with different colors of eyeliner. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out if you do like and comment and I mean subscribe because I do know that a lot of people that watches my videos don't subscribe and then you are gonna miss out on a lot of cool content. Let me know if you actually do recreate this look. Please tag me on whatever social media you have. I would love to see it. Have a great day and I hope that we will see each other in the next video.